Hi, in this short video I will help you understand how a business analyst can help articulate the business pressures an organisation faces in its business environment using Porter's Five Forces. Enjoy. Business analysts can bring together stakeholders to a workshop in which they will discuss the business pressures that an organisation will face in the business environment within which it operates. Using Porter's Five Forces, we will look at existing competitors, the potential for new entrants to come into the market and affect your market share, the effect of suppliers who can place demands on you as a customer, the ability of your buyers to negotiate with suppliers, and finally also the opportunity for uh, substitute products to take your customers away from you and go somewhere else. So in terms of your competitors, you should be looking at whether your competitors are bigger players than yourself in the market, are there groupings of competitors who work together, who offer something slightly different or something better or even worse than what you do. You also want to consider if you're a minor player and you would be buffeted by market conditions in a harder way than your competitors might or whether decisions by your competitors would affect you. In terms of new entrants, what you should be looking at is how easy is it for a new entrant to come onto the marketplace and basically take away your customers from you, reducing your market share. Would these new entrants have to find lots of cash, lots of investment? Would they have to develop the know-how that your organisation has built years doing or is that know-how out there easily acquired? These are the things that would enable or prevent a new entrant onto the marketplace. Furthermore, you'd have to look at your suppliers. What's your relationship with your suppliers? Can they place demands on you as a customer, such as buying more materials, buying more resources or services from them than you actually need just to meet their minimum order? Um, would your suppliers also be limited in what they offer you? Is that preventing you from securing more of the market share? And then furthermore, your buyer's ability to negotiate with your suppliers. Can they quickly and easily switch from one supplier to another without breaching legal requirements? Or is there lots of bureaucracy involved? So how agile can your buyers be in working with your existing suppliers and indeed finding and switching to new suppliers? Furthermore, there's the opportunity for your customers to access substitute products and services to the one that you provide them. Do these exist? What are they? How would they find them? Could they be coming down the track? An example of this was when I was uh, procuring lots of computer hardware for my customers. We had to make use of the manufacturer's own memory modules. And then when memory modules became in short supply, the manufacturers allowed us to go off and buy third party memory modules, which meant we could retain our market share. In fact, the price of uh, memory modules with the third party was uh, a lot less than the manufacturers. So these sorts of substitutes really matter. You need to understand where else your customers could go. Now, rather like the Pestle analysis, the idea of the Porter's Five Forces uh, tool if you like um, and the analysis uh, using that tool it is not there to find solutions to problems that you uh, identify it's merely to identify the business pressures that you have and then later on you go and find the solutions so I hope you found that useful take care bye bye